Hello everyone, welcome back. So let's write another API. So let's name it first. I mean the root. So what is the root? As I said, app is a server and the root. The first thing. What is the path we are going to provide here? Okay. Um, student and from student I'm going to get all the student informations okay or under the student you can call get students and it is again a get method I'm going to fetch the informations right so this is a get method again okay so let's create the API define get students so here what we are going to do is I'm going to return all the student details student or just return this but it is directly returning as a collection or a dictionary so we are going to send them as a JSON response so we need to convert and then send back to them okay in the in in that particular purpose we don't have to write your own code because flask itself it has a, a own uh, json implementations so in order to use that you need to import something from flask import jsonify json okay. so this is a particular library which will help us to convert the collection as a json response so instead what how we are going to implement that just use a jsonify file and the name stud it's any name it's you it's user defined student and the library or the collection so the JSON if what it is doing is okay it has to be a collection so the JSON if it's taking a collection the one is holding the key which is nothing but student it can be any reference and the value is student DB which is nothing but your local repository so when you run this particular method and if you call this particular API you will be able to get all those student information let's try that and before that let's start the script or the web server right click okay server is up and running so we all know what is the okay let's copy the path students and get students so http localhost and the port number and then you need to provide the path the route which we mentioned in the rest api just run see it is simple when you hit the rest api route you will get the response the logic which is returned behind the api that is called the business logics so this is how we need to get the information using Python with the help of JSONify because the reason why I use JSONify we don't want to send the collection as a response we need to convert as a proper format like JSON and send back so in order to do that we used JSONify library 
and then we send the response back. Let's stop it here. In the next video, we are going to discuss about how we are going to get some specific student information. I don't want to get all the student information. I just want to get the particular student information. So let's see in the next video. Thank you.